Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to remove multiple servers from your Plex account. So if you have a defunct server or you have a server that you don't want to show anymore, today what we're going to do is show you how to remove this server. So for example here I've got my Windows PC and we're running a Plex server here, but I want to remove this. I only want to be using my NAS for example. I don't want this appeared on this pinned menu anymore. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we need to log in to our Plex server. So I've got the web browser and I've gone into my Plex server here. You can also go to Plex, you can also go to Plex.tv and then you can log into your Plex account. And then once you've logged into your account, you can just press the open Plex button here and that's gonna open up your Plex installation. Select your user. And then once we're here, we're gonna go and click on the settings icon here. So go into settings and then we can see the various servers that are available here. So what we're gonna do is to go to this left section here called authorized devices. And here we can see all of the devices which are connected to our Plex account. And we can filter this by server. So click on server here. And what we wanna do is basically remove servers which are no longer used or anything we just wanna remove. So the Phoenix 3700X, we're gonna remove this. Let's click the X button here. It says here, if we remove this server, all syncs and shares associated with the server will be lost. And I'm gonna press the remove button. And yes, I'm sure. And now that's been removed. I'm also going to remove this one that was running on my Mac and now that's been removed. So now I'm going to press the home button, click on more and we only have this QNAP one. We don't have the Phoenix 3700X anymore. So anyway, that is basically how you remove a server from Plex. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.